Why would I let Prince overwhelm a seemingly scared dog? Watch the slow motion breakdown to learn why. I'm gonna do a series of short videos under five minutes. Get as much in there as possible, not waste your time, show you everything. This is a Pomsky, 13 months old. He has met two dogs in his entire life. Prince is gonna back him up. I'm gonna do slow motion video to show you some of the details. Okay, you've seen Prince correct a dog. That is only good when the dog is being a jerk. He is not being a jerk, he is scared. Okay. He's met two dogs, they were both family dogs, so this is essentially his first dog. Now this dog obviously is under socialized and nervous, but you're gonna see some other things to his behavior that's a little concerning. Take the perfect situation, because Prince is just sitting here. If you, you know, you can do this on your own and you should, but you gotta, you have to go so slow. Like even him just being faced another way, this guy is gonna get a little weirded out. Like this is the best. I was very happy when I saw this. He's approaching. I'm holding Prince because I don't want the Prince's face, the area where there's the teeth to flip around and this dog gets scared. He's meeting a dog. He has a friend. A third friend is in, in his entire life. But then you're going to see something a little, not even concerning, just a little telling. And that's why I'm going to let Prince kind of overwhelm him because he's got a little bit of boldness to him that is not just all fear. No dog is one thing. No person is one thing. So he's going to kind of come up with the face. Then I'm going to slow-mo it for you. And you're going to see Prince also notices it. So right now, now he could just be looking here, here, right when Prince, look at this look. It's not bad. And he could simply be just trying to smell the air and look into his face. But Prince actually picks up on it a little bit too. And he doesn't even back up the other guy. But then look at this. Okay. Here's the slow-mo. Prince is like, what are you doing, dude? And he's like, I'm just coming in to give a smell. But it was hard to read at the time exactly what he wanted. But then right there, when Prince moves quick and he just kind of backs up a little bit, showed me, okay, it's mainly fear. It's kind of obviously mainly fear. And then little play bells from them. But there's a little bit of boldness to him. And I'm like, okay, you want to be bold. And a nice play bell right here. So, okay, kind of a bold guy, kind of a playful guy. So we're going to let this play out. I'm not, I'm glad Prince didn't do it in his face because he's got this mix of like, he's ready to play, dude. He's stoked. But he, Prince can still overwhelm him quite a bit. But I'm ready to let Prince go. I know I was just saying like I'm not. But then I saw all these play bouts from him, which they're like halfway play bouts. Like he's half nervous, but they're, they're play bouts. Okay, I'm going to let Prince go. So now it's release the Kraken time. Prince is doing lookaways, being a good boy, trying not to overwhelm him. And this guy, he's nervous. He's unsocialized. He wants to be with mommy. He's all those things. He's also just a bit bold. You're going to see it right near. I'm going to slow this down for you. Now, who starts the play bow and why is this telling? Watch. Watch him. Who starts this, guys? Ready for it? Who starts the play bow? Prince starts the play bow. It's like you walking up to somebody and going, hey, I really think you're a nice, wonderful person. Then being like, get out of here. Like you were the nicest person in the world and the person kind of went hard at you. Now it's not quite like that because he's not used to quick movements, but he knows what a play bow did is he did a play bow a minute ago. Now Prince is overwhelming him. Why am I letting it happen? Because he's weirdly bold in some aspect of his life and he's 13 months old. He can deal with it. He can handle it. We have one hour he did not take a step back. He only took steps forward. I think we have a window of about two months to get over this, maybe one month. Okay. He's gonna hit a year and a half soon, right? Yeah. Yeah. And like it, things change and then at two it really changes. He's great. He's not aggressive, obviously. He's great, but like our window is closing. I mean, there's no dog, there's two dogs in a year and a half. Like that is not enough. Right. And we've got a window right now. Yeah. And then I think this becomes more solidified, this fear. He might even start lashing out more. Right. We have a short window. Mm -hmm. Okay, and it starts today. Yeah. And I think we're just gonna keep going with dogs and but we're not overwhelming him. I mean, under five minute dog training video. He's now meeting more dogs, just smelling them. He needs to see them, smell them hear them, see them run, look at their faces, see them growl at him. He's got to see all kinds of things to get better. Successful one hour session. Hopefully you guys got something out of it with the somewhat complex little dog.